Hi, I'm Matt McMurray from Campus Automotive in Blacksburg, Virginia, and today we have the new Handcook Dynapro XT. Now, the Dynapro XT is the newest tire in Handcook's tire lineup, and they call it a rugged terrain tire. So it's positioned between the Dynapro AT2 Extreme and the Dynapro MT2. So I would classify the XT as a hybrid tire. I think the hybrid tire terminology might be changing to rugged terrain because there are actually tires being built now specifically for hybrid and full electric vehicles. So that being said, the Dynapro XT could be compared to the Nitto Ridge Grappler or the Yokohama Geolander XAT. So the best applications for the Hankook Dynapro XT would be a Ford F-150 Raptor, Ram 2500 HD, Ford F-250, Jeep Wrangler, or Ford Bronco, or anything else with a lift kit that would benefit from a hybrid tire like this. The Hankook Dynapro XT is three peak mountain snowflake rated, which makes it unique in the hybrid tire category. The XT has siping on every tread block and V-shaped lateral grooves to bite into deep snow and mud. The V-shaped grooves also do a great job of evacuating water from under the tread to reduce the risk of hydroplaning. So the XT has a special compound with lots of silica in it that makes it work great in wet weather and in winter conditions. This special compound is also mixed with components that reduce chips and cuts on gravel roads and rocks, yet at the same time makes the tread last a long time. So the XT is designed to be quiet because they beveled the edges of each tread block to minimize slap noise while driving down the highway. The Dynapro XT has zigzag grooves that provide added traction in off-road and snowy condition. These grooves also evacuate mud, rocks, water, and deep snow from the grooves. These tread blocks themselves are an open block design, but they have cushions in between each outer tread block to relieve the impact and absorb the noise. All the blocks in the tread are shaped like polygons instead of rectangles or triangles, and that gives you plenty of biting edges off-road, but keeps the tread blocks stable while you're on the road. The Dynapro XT has a sawtooth sidewall design that provides traction when aired down, and they also protect the sidewall from puncture and pinching off-road. So the first thing we're gonna look at is the sidewall on this tire. If you're new to Campus Automotive, we do tire comparisons, tire reviews, and lots of tire talk. So subscribe and hit the bell to keep up. So it's interesting that even though Hankook is a Korean brand, this particular tire is made in the USA, which you know I like that. This tire is three peak snowflake rated. The size is 245, 75, 17. You also notice that it has a rim protector all the way around. So the Dynapro XT has a sawtooth sidewall design that provides traction when aired down and it also protects the sidewall from puncture and pinching off road. So next up, we'll talk about some of the features on the tread that make this tire unique. So this Hankook Dynapro XT is three peak snowflake rated. And some of the things that make it three peak snowflake rated are these sipes in each one of the tread blocks. Now each tread block doesn't have a lot of sipes, but there is one sipe in each tread block. Another thing that makes it three peak mountain snowflake rated is the compound that they use in the tread, specially designed for wet weather and snowy weather. Another thing you notice is these lateral grooves are V-shaped and that's really gonna help you dig in deep snow, but also dig in deep mud and help clear that mud out. Now each tread block, you can see on the outer tread block that it's an open block kind of design. So there's no continuous band of blocks. So that's what's gonna give you that traction off road. But you will notice that the shape of the blocks and the way they're designed with these polygon type shapes instead of triangles and squares makes them more sturdy on highway and on the road while you're driving so it handles good and you can still run high speed with it. So each one of these tread blocks, if you'll notice, have beveled edges on the block. So those beveled edges reduce the noise when you're going down the highway. So these tread blocks aren't slapping against the pavement. If you can picture every time a tire goes around, that tread block smacks the pavement. So if, if you bevel these edges just a little bit, the edges, when it catches the pavement, that's what, that's what you hear, that's what you get a lot of that roaring sound. Like if you drive by a tractor trailer and you hear the roaring from the tires, it's because those tread blocks are slapping the ground and it's just causing a lot of acoustic interference. So what they figured was, we're gonna to try to open these tread blocks up a little bit and keep them wide so that we can get that good traction in snow, in deep snow and in mud. But we're gonna make shape these tread blocks so that when they hit the pavement, they're not gonna make as much noise. So, you know, time, time will tell, especially if these tires wear, how they'll do in the long term. but when they're new, they're supposed to be pretty quiet. So you can see that these tread blocks have tons of biting edges all the way around each one of them, especially in this center rib. Now they're oriented pretty close on this center rib, and that's where we're gonna get that high speed stability on the highway, is having this inner rib 
with closer tread blocks in it. But they shape the inner tread blocks with all these biting edges so you still get that traction off-road and in deep snow. So you can see that both of these outer blocks have an open block design. Now this will help evacuate water too. That's the good thing about an open block design because you can get the water from out underneath the tread and it'll reduce the hydroplaning resistance. And you also notice that between each of these tread blocks, there's a cushion right here. About every other tread block, and what that does is it, 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 it firms up those outer blocks so they don't squirm around when you're turning at high speed, or if you're on a country road just driving at a pretty spirited clip, they won't squirm around. I try to shore them up a little bit and give them a foundation. These little ribs here, they're just stone ejectors to keep those stones from burrowing down into your tire. So the Hankook Dynapro XT is available in 31 sizes from 17 to 22 inches, and all of the sizes are LT load range D and up. The size of this tire is a LT 245-7517, and it retails for $243.99. You can pick these up at Tire Buyer, Tire Rack, or the Amazon affiliate link in the description below. On a scale of try it, watch it, or trash it, I give it a try it if you're in the market for a great, aggressive, high retire. The bottom line is I think this is going to be a pretty good tire and it's going to compete directly with those Ridge Grapplers. So if you have any questions or would like to see me review a particular tire, drop them in the comments section below and don't forget to like and subscribe. To see more Hankook tire reviews and comparisons like this one, check out these videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.